search explorer in time and space. Uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Do I hear any complaints? Good. Tetro, you will supervise construction of a new small-sized rocket ship for my own personal use. I shall want to blast off for Venus two weeks from today. Also, I want it fully equipped with atomic weapons, guided missiles, and a food supply for 30 days, including plenty of strawberry pie and ice cream. Arco, you will supervise construction of the new outer space platform, and I would like it completed before my return from Venus. In the meantime, Micro, you will assist me with my experiments in time and space. R1, you will attend to my personal comforts here in the laboratory and provide me with whatever I may require. Incidentally, I shall want to use the Z5 tomorrow. I'm making a short trip to Palm Springs in the United States for a few days. I need the rest, you know. What in the world's going on? Oh, hi, Captain. I'm just practicing for my new role in life. Your what? My new role in life. Oh? Yes. I've discovered I have royal blood in my veins. Is that any different than the ordinary kind? Certainly. I'm related to kings. Oh. Yes. I sent away from my genealogy. One of my ancestors was twelfth cousin to King Alfred the Great. Twelfth cousin? Isn't that a little far removed? Oh, I don't know. It isn't like not being related at all. Are you sure this is accurate? Well, sure it is. Look, there's a coat of arms and everything. Besides, I've always known I was a lost prince or something. You sound a little lost, all right. I'm sorry, Captain, but I'm afraid I'll have to give up all this sort of thing. Oh, what sort of thing? Oh, research and experimenting. After all, you can hardly expect your relative to King Alfred the Great to do common work. I'm afraid I'll just have to accustom myself to a life of ease and luxury as befits a descendant of Alfred the Great. Apparently, you don't know very much about Alfred the Great yet. I know he was one of England's greatest kings. Yes, but he didn't earn that title by lounging around on a throne. What do you mean? Stand by to activate the time machine. I'm going to show you what I mean. Set it for the year 878. March the 10th, the island of Britain in the swampy marshes of Somerset. Swampy marshes? You don't expect to find a king in the swamps, do you? Set the voltage at 4.913 and stand by to activate the cycle reactor. Yes, sir. Petro. Yes, Captain. Stand by for operation of the time machine. Yes, sir. Electro generators, 8.947. Klystron output, 4.372. Set the trilotron at 12.991. Yes, sir. Ready, Jet? Ready, sir. Ready in the electric chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by for signal. Activate the cycle reactor. Good. We're cracking the fourth dimension and projecting back into time. 
1900, 18, 17, 16, 15. Increased triad resistance, 1.4. Bring up the field output. Steady. We're going back. 1400, 13, 12. Check microphase. 0.75 MV. Increased to 0.95. Hold it. Watch resistance gauge. Steady. 900, 890, 80. Stand by. 878. Cut the cycle reactor and lock it. Level the power central. Yes, sir. Now set the sound wave segregator and patch it into the time machine audio. Yes, sir. the view screen. We'll see if we can pick up King Alfred. Yes, sir. But I'm afraid you've made a mistake, Captain. Bring up the plate current. Increase the image acceleration. Bring up the target voltage. The swamps. In the year 878, England was overrun with the conquering Danes. Alfred could have gone to Rome, as other kings had done, and live a life of ease, but he preferred to retreat to the swamps until he could find a way to save his people. But I thought kings took it easy and let other people do the work. Not the great kings, Jet. Not King Alfred. Hold! 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 It is Denimal. Now rise, Denimal. God, Mead. What news of my people? Evil news, my lord. The Danes are everywhere. They cover England as a pestilence, killing and plundering as they go. All Saxon resistance has been swept away. You alone are England's last hope of survival. My people. My poor, poor people. What can I do to help them? My army is but a handful against the Danish hordes. And even now they seek you out to put an end to all chance of resistance. We are safe enough here for the time. The Danes cannot attack us in these bogs and marshes. Besides, as yet they know not even where we are. But I fear the time will come, my lord, when they will discover us. By then we must have found the means to drive them back whence they came. Aye. I would that we have the time to find the means. Seven years have I been king, since the death of my brother Ethelred at the Battle of Ashton. Many times have we beaten the Danes, but always they come back with more and more men. While our ranks have grown so thin, we can no longer hope to defend ourselves. Thank heaven for these swamplands, to hide us from our enemies until we can regain the strength to fight them.
but our strength may be long coming. Many of our people have given up hope. They have lost the desire to resist, and their hopelessness is spreading. The king does save himself, they say. He does not care what becomes of us. Aye. That is the most bitter blow. But who can blame them? Over and over, their crops have been burned. Their churches pillaged and destroyed. Their homes leveled to the ground, and they themselves robbed and persecuted. Who can blame them for losing faith in a king who is powerless to save them? Mayhap it would be best if I left these shores. Mayhap in time the Danes and Saxons would come to live together in peace. Peace? Aye, a peace that would make slaves of all Saxons. Better to fight now and die in battle than such a peace. No. The time will surely come when we shall be strong again. Until then, we can but wait. Wait? Aye. But even our waiting could be cut short, should the Danish heathens find our camp. They know that while you live, you are still a threat, and they seek revenge for past defeats. Every Dane on these shores seeks your life, for the one who destroys you would be heaped with rewards. If this secret place should be discovered, my lord, the last hope of England would be vanquished forever. I'm well aware of the risk, Denim Wolf, but your fears are groundless. No Dane will penetrate this trackless swamp. Nevertheless, a search of our borders would not be amiss. Would you grant me permission to look? Aye, if it will rest your fears. Take my guards, I need them not. The activity will do them good. No, their place is by their king. If it's Danes you seek, you had best be prepared to meet them. Take the guards. There are sentries posted about the camp. I have no fear of surprise. Guards! Aye. Go you with Denewolf. Men, follow me. that axe. Set the materialization chamber to the smallest gap and stand by to throw the switch. Yes, sir. from behind while I was sitting here alone. I heard him not. Why he did not strike me down, I do not know. Mayhap my coming frightened him off. Mayhap. But this means our camp has been discovered. Aye, the Danes will be upon us ere many days have passed. Our numbers are too small to fight. There is naught we can do but flee. I fear this is the end. No, my lord. This is the beginning. How so?
so. While searching the swampland borders, I heard good news. Our months of waiting have been rewarded. Hover the Dane landed suddenly in Devon, bringing with him the raven flag of the heathens. He thought to ravage the countryside and be off. But the elderman, Arda, with a small force, surprised him. Hubba was slain. But what brought much more distress to his followers? The raven flag was captured. The magical flag of Hubba. And the raven that gleefully spread its wings when the Danes were to win the day. Aye, the superstitious Danes were so dismayed to lose it. My lord, the time is ripe. Your followers believe that if you would but name the place, a great army would assemble to fight under your standard. When they see their king alive after such tribulations, they'll receive him as he merits with joy and acclamation. Mayhap you are right, Denewolf. Mayhap you are right. Aye, send forth the arrow and the sword. The enemy is upon us. Let every man who sees its message leave his house and come to Egbert Stone. We rally at once to England's aid. Welcome from exile, Your Majesty. Hooray! Man, are they going to fight the Danes? Yes. Stand by to refocus to Bratton Hill, the headquarters of Guthrum the Destroyer, leader of the Danes. Yeah. Ingwa, sing. The camp of Alfred has been discovered. One of our spies brought the news. Yeah. We shall reward him with a share of the Saxon spoils. A small share. Yeah. <laughs> be burn and be killed, then be carried off the booty. Langerland is a fine land for blood and treasure. Yeah. Yeah. The sea is our kingdom, and now the land all ours. The pleasure of battle. All glory to our gods, Woden and Thor. But what of Alfred? We destroy him easily in our own good time. He is not the men to fight us, and he cannot escape us. We shall all drink mead from King Alfred's skull. Yeah. <laughs> we shall drive Alfred and his Christians to the edge of the sea, there to cut them down or watch them drown. Yeah. Angerland is ours. Treasures of their churches and the gold of their kings. The Saxons shall be our slaves. Yeah! <laughs> I have determined the number of Guthrum's men. Aye. They are by far the greater. But men from every section are flocking to our standard with every passing hour. Has the news of our rally been well kept? Aye, the Danes know nothing of our assembling. Our greatest advantage will be that of surprise. On the morrow, we leave for Egli, which commands the valley of Ethendune, where the Danish army awaits. Aye, my liege. All will be ready. With you at the head leading us on, the Saxons cannot but win the day. Unless we do, we shall never see the night. Any of us. Captain, who's going to win? Stand by to move the time machine ahead. Yes, sir. Ready, cycle reactor? Ah! Good. Cut back a reactor rocket. I'll stand by to refocus to Ethan Dune. Get. Yes, sir. Get the first aid kit and make sure it contains 10 cc's of trexacillin. Yes, sir. Here you go, Captain. Good. Now stand by to activate the materialization chamber. Hurry.
electro-wave connections are opening, through what activity is increasing, voltage is building up, spark gaps are closing. He's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There he goes. He's gone. I am as whole again. Activate the screen again. Hurry. Where's King Alfred? I no longer can see him. Without his leadership, I feel we are lost. Alive. England is safe. Forward, men. For England. Man, King Alfred sure was a fighter. Yes, but it wasn't just his fighting that made him great, Jess. But his character, his sense of responsibility to his people. At the age of 22, Alfred became king of a devastated country. A country overrun by savage pirates and rapidly sinking into the depths of barbarianism. From this, he built a nation. Alfred not only drove out the Danes, Jeff, but he established just laws, and built schools and churches, and translated books. And then, so he wouldn't waste time, he even devised a clock by dividing a candle into equal spaces. Man, he must have been working day and night. Well, what about it, Jeff? Would you still like to live the life of King Alfred? No thanks, Captain. My life here at the laboratory suits me just fine. Just plain jet. Hi, boys and girls. Greetings, fellow Z-men. I want to tell you how you can become a commissioned officer of the Zero Explorers in Time and Space and receive an official space passport and identification card. This passport entitles you to travel in accredited spaceships to any planet in our solar system. It also contains my official signature and photograph, as well as regulations for space travel and procedure for rocket ship blast off. Just send your name and address to me, Captain Zero, in care of this station. Your letter will be forwarded to my laboratory by guided missile, and I will immediately send you your official space passport and identification card. So, till we meet again, fellow Z-men, good luck in time and space. Be sure to be standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and 